Our story begins here, at our two main characters' houses. This is John Jacob's house, our protagonist. John is a simple kid, excited to move on from high school. Now, this is our antagonist's home. His name is Butch, Butch Billerson, and he is one nasty kid. This is how this day and our story will begin for our characters. Hi there, narrator here. This is Rushmore High, the school John and Butch both attend. Now, today is not just any average day, but is in fact the last day of high school for our two characters. This is senior year, and after today, they'll be free from this mandatory education. I'll see you guys around. So guys, today's the day. Yeah. I just hope it goes by quick. Me too. I don't want anything crazy to happen today. Yeah, I hope Butch doesn't show up today. I bet he wants to torment us one last time before he never sees us again. Yeah. John, you're being awfully quiet back there. I've been thinking about today a lot recently, guys, and I don't just want to move on from high school. I mean, we're losers, and yeah. Honestly, I'm not okay with that. So I came up with this. What is it? Clearly a list, idiot. Not just any list. A list to rule them all. A list of the last things I need to do on our last days of high school. Well, John, you're very ambitious. Yeah. But whatever you need, man, we got your back. Thanks. It means a lot. So, what's first? One. Finally ask out Sarah. All right, let's get to work. While John was discussing his list with his friends, another list was being pondered on. This was the list of Butch Billerson, the young man we saw earlier. The day began. This is crazy. Why am I about to do this? Guys, let's just forget about this whole list thing. Dude, you wanted to do this and we told you that we would help. So go up to Sarah and talk to her. You understand how crazy this is, right? Me, John Jacobs, school nobody, just casually walking up to the prettiest girl at school and asking her out? All right, listen, man. We get you're freaking out about this, but you guys have been getting pretty close recently. And honestly, what's the worst that can happen? She says no, then we go on to part two of the list. You guys are right. Here goes nothing. Okay, tiger. Break a leg. This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well at all. Hey, John. Oh, hey, Sarah. How are you? Doing pretty good. Are you going to Brad's graduation party? Uh, I, I don't think so. It's not really my kind of thing. Yeah, I figured. You know, John, that's what I love about you. What? How you're perfectly happy doing your own thing and don't care if it's not cool. Oh, yeah. That's me. Sarah? Yeah? Well, I was just wondering, since we've been getting closer and stuff, would you possibly want to go out with me? Hey, dork. Sarah, I'm so sorry. You better be sorry, John Jacobs. If you thought I would go out with you, forget it. from here. What happened? So, in one minute, I was actually starting to hit it off with Sarah. But the next minute, Butch comes from around the corner with a water balloon in his hand and throws it, trying to hit me, but instead hits Sarah. Yeah, what do you expect from Butch Billerson, the world's greatest jerk, not to do something to us on the last day of school? Yeah. 
I guess all we can do now is move on. So what's next? Number two, prank Mr. Arthur. Well, let's hope this one goes better than the last. I'm sure he can handle it. Isn't that right, Romeo? Piss off. Yeah, let's get to work. So as you two are aware, I've been in an ongoing prank war with Mr. Arthur all year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this will guarantee that I win. Got, Got it. it. So, while I'll handle this, you guys take lookout. Especially, look out for Butch. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of him. I didn't think he'd actually do it. Yeah. Yeah. He did. I mean, she hates him now, but... Eh, she might get over it. Yeah, summer's a long time. All good? All good. Let's get going. All right. Well, class, just because today is your last day, that does not mean we're not going to learn. So, let's begin. Miss Arthur, wait! Ah! John Jacobs, you've taken our game a little too far. Principal's office now. It wasn't me, I swear. Principal's office now! Me and you, after school, parking lot. All right, let's get right to it. I've got a spin class in 45 minutes, and you're keeping me from it. So, John Jacobs, it seems you have joined the array of students that have decided to physically abuse our staff members here at Rushmore. It's not what you think, Mr. Please. Prin Mr. Principal was my father's name. We are friends, right? Uh, I guess? So call me by my first name. Jacoby. All right, Jacoby. It's not what you think. Here's the thing, John. I don't care what happened. Truly, I don't care. I just want to help the situation, not punish it. I want you to realize something. You see, I come from a line of great principles. But don't get me wrong. Like you, I was in high school. Well. I wasn't a loser in my high school. <laughs> this place, this chapter, high school, it's almost over. And when it is, you will move on with the rest of your life. And honestly, everything that's important to you right now, it won't matter. So my advice to you, if you have any loose ends here at Rushmore, tie them up and move on with your life. Well, thank you, Mr. Principal. Uh, Jacoby. The name's Jacoby. Right. Jacoby. Thank you again. Linda, get your spin clothes on. We're gonna have some fun. On the whole intercom? Oh, I know. John? 
We thought you were gonna get expelled. Yeah, man. Sure seemed like it. You should have seen Mr. Arthur the rest of the period. Dude was pissed. I'm sure he was. What a drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next? The last item on the list. Item three. Get revenge on Butch Billerson. All right. Oh, hey. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm just grabbing a couple rays, you know, from that great big sun up there. Probably wondering, Mr. Narrator, what's gonna happen next? Well, <laughs> oh, disgusting. Where was I? Oh, okay. So we're gonna do this thing. It's called a time jump. Are you ready? All right. You ready, Dor? Before we do this, Butch, I gotta ask, why? Why what? Why have you single-handedly ruined our high school experiences? Because <laughs> you're a bunch of losers. Why else? Well, Butch, the way I look at it, you're the loser in this situation. And why is that? The thing is, you, you spent all your time obsessing over tormenting people like us that the only person that you hurt was yourself. Look around you! You cut no one by your side! All you are is a lonely kid who deals with his problems by hurting other people. And honestly, I can't wait to get this over with. So much, if you wanted to do this, so let's do it. Well, it's about time you've had some suffering in your life. You come into school with your cool friends, your cool cars, you talk about all the cool stuff you do. It's just, it's just unfair, you know? What's unfair? Did you take it out on us? We did nothing to you, Butch. I, I'm tired of people thinking that they're better than me because, because the parents have money, they have friends. I'm just tired of it, you know? I needed to give myself some power again. Butch. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I never knew. So if this is what you have to do, then let's do it. I'm sorry too. Yeah, no, Cause you're safe and sound up there.